Hello and welcome back to Animal Based In Your Face, where today I'm going to show you how to make pork rind uh, tortilla taco shells. You can also use them as tostadas, put uh, Mexican shredded beef on them, ground beef, um, pork roast, whatever that you would like to. Some people would even put hamburgers on them. They're super simple and easy to make and would probably last several days in your refrigerator for an easy meal prep. For this recipe, you're going to need pork rinds, three ounces of pork rinds. Your pork rinds need to be cooked in their own rendered fat. I've already weighed out three ounces on my scale, so they're ready to go. All I have to do is put them in my food processor with the chopping blade and just shred them till they're super fine. You're also going to need three eggs. We use the pasture raised brown eggs from Sam's Club. And your last ingredient will be shredded cheese. This is um, from a block that we purchase. We shred it ourselves in our food processor. That way it doesn't have any cellulose or bad fillers in it um, that are bad for you. Remember, fresh is always better. So you'll need three ounces of pork rinds, three eggs, and three ounces of mild cheddar. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my three ounces of my pork rinds in my Brevel food processor with the chopping blade on the bottom. I don't even know if I can get to it. It's right there, it's hidden, it's a, it's a big silver blade. Um, I'm gonna put these in here, I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna do this all one-handed because my husband is not here to help me tonight, he's working. I'm gonna show you, a lot of people will use a wooden spoon to make their pork rinds really fine. Actually, my husband did it the other night and I was like, oh, he's gonna regret that. And he did at the end. If you just put these in your food processor, watch how quick these break down. There you go. It's just like a fine powder. Now, I will warn you, um, to watch for the really hard crunchy pieces when you're making these because you know pork rinds sometimes have that if you have any in your fine shredded powder and look how fine that is okay it's just really crumbly just go ahead and pick them out I'm going to put these in a bowl and I'll be right back all right I was just going to show you this is the chopping blade I used to ground up my pork rinds till they were super fine all right, I have next my shredded cheese. I have three ounces of shredded cheese. As I said, this is fresh grated mild cheddar. Um, next, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna dump it in the bowl with the pork rinds that I fine shredded earlier. And then next, you're gonna take your three eggs. You're gonna put them in a bowl and just beat them up really good. And once you get that done, as you can see, I've already got mine done. I'm gonna pour that also in the bowl with the cheese and the pork rinds. All right, next you're gonna take this mixture and you're gonna mix it up really well. You're going to need to have a baking sheet ready with parchment paper on it. We actually use the parchment paper sheets if you've never tried these, I highly recommend them. They're much easier than ripping off parchment paper. It rips and tears, it's just a big mess. So go ahead and get your baking sheet ready with your parchment paper. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get our oven preheated. We actually have a quick preheat and I'm gonna preheat our oven to 375 degrees. Um, so this will be ready to go once I get everything mixed and I get it on our baking sheet. I'm gonna mix this up and get it on our baking sheet and I'm gonna show you how I do it with a quick tip and I'll be right back. Okay, so our eggs, pork rinds, and shredded cheese is all mixed up. Next, we're going to put six, you know, as close as you can get them, even stacks on our baking sheet so we can make six tortillas. If you want your, your tortillas larger, you can always double the recipe 
um, or you can even triplet. You can make them any size you want, the thickness that you want, or how thin that you would like them. Let me get this on the uh, baking sheet, and I'm gonna come back and show you a easy way to press these out and not get your hands all filthy. Okay, so I did six even piles on my baking tray. Um, and then I started pressing out my taco shells. Now you can use your fingers and it's really messy, or you can even try to use a spoon. Um, it normally sticks to spoons, I've already tried it. So I came up with, if you put your hand in like a sandwich bag and you press them out, it is not messy at all and it does not stick, it's actually perfect. So I have four of my six pressed out. I'm gonna get the last two pressed out and then we're gonna put them in the oven at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes or however done you would like them. All right, as you can see, I have six pretty even size taco shells all pressed out. Wasn't even messy, super easy. Next, I'm gonna put them in the oven at 375. That's already preheated. We're gonna put these in. I'm gonna set a timer, probably 10 to 11 minutes, see what they look like. You can go 12, longer or shorter. It's totally up to you. Once they're done, I'll pull them out of the oven and we'll be right back. Okay, our timer just went off. Mine's been in about 11 minutes. You could stop them a little sooner if you want, a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of the oven and I'm gonna set them on my stove. And I'll be right back. Look at them. Six taco shells, tostado shells. Perfect for taco night. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lift these up. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead, one-handed here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just start laying them over our little taco holders. Now you don't have to do this, but since I have them, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. They're pretty hot. And I'm gonna let these cool right here. You can leave them flat as tostados if you want, or just leave them flat, period. All right, I got four cooling. I got two straight. And we'll be back in a few minutes. We're gonna build us up some tacos for Mexican night. All right, so we're getting ready to make up some tacos and a tostada for dinner. But first I wanna show you our yummy Mexican shredded beef that we're using tonight. And if you subscribe to our channel, this recipe will hit our channel this weekend. So all that we're gonna do, I'm gonna start with the tostado in the back. You can use ground beef taco meat or ground chicken taco meat, whatever you want. But um, I'm gonna start with the tostado. And you can, if these are cold in your fridge, you can heat them up um, in a skillet or you can even toast them in the toaster. Put as much as you want. But these are perfect for taco night. I like a lot of protein, so. All right, so from here, remember your shells are made of pork rind, cheese, and eggs. So you can add extra cheese if you want, or you don't have to, you can eat it plain. You can use um, daisy sour cream, which is clean. It's the only thing we buy. You can also use what I love is the Holy Avocado uh, Minis. Uh, they're actually perfect to take uh, to go on your lunches um, if you take your lunch to work every day. So you can put cheese, sour cream, avocado on this. And here's our taco shells. I'm gonna go ahead and put some meat in these real quick. We also have another recipe on our YouTube channel for cheese taco shells. And we'll have another taco shell recipe coming up in the next week or two. So three different options for taco shells. And honestly, we love the shredded beef a lot more than the ground beef. All right, let's make these pretty. Or as pretty as we can, right? Some may not want extra cheese because your shell has cheese, but that's totally up to you. I'll just do a little. 
and I'll leave one without. Um, next, I'm going to do, a, my husband doesn't like sour cream, so of course this is optional. But I'm just going to do a little dollop of some sour cream. I love sour cream now that we're animal based. I didn't used to eat it before, but I do use it now and it's actually great in recipes. Take as much of this as you want. I usually just put a slice in it and then it usually just lift right out if it's going to be good to not. And just put that on top. And there you go. There's your tostada. I'm going to leave these plain um, because he's probably going to eat these. But when I make mine tonight, mine are going to have sour cream and avocado on them, just like the tostado. So these are perfect for Taco Tuesday. I hope you enjoy this recipe of our shells. Be sure to come back for our Mexican shredded beef recipe and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and enjoy.